Hi guys, so message for today is how to deal with discouragement. Whew, that's a really big topic. I mean, it's something that I even, you know, deal with on a regular basis myself. And when I kind of feel really down sometimes, when I, especially when I try to do something, when I try to achieve a certain project, I'm just, it's just not working. And it's not even like a feeling of failure. It's more so just like, ah, it's just, I just can't get it to where I want it to be or what, what, you know, whatever outcome it is that I want, I just can't get there. And of course, any normal person will start to feel defeated, especially when you keep trying a different thing or you make adjustments, but you still can't get to where you need to be. Guys, listen, if success was easy, every single person in this world would be tremendously, wildly successful. Success is not for the faint-hearted. Success is something where we have to be disciplined, but also to remember that it's not just about you know how to deal with failure. It's not just about how to adjust things or whatever your perspective or your mindset. At the end of the day, when you look at people who have achieved success, everyone had to start at a certain point. And we don't always see that place where they were, right? We don't see where they started. And so sometimes when I feel really discouraged, I just look around and I look at people who are business owners, whether they're successful or not, these people are business owners and they're standing strong on their feet or they've accomplished a project, right? You don't even have to be a business owner in order to understand success. Success comes forward in family, it comes forward in love, it comes forward in, in business, career, money. It really depends what your definition of success is at the end of the day, right? So we can, someone who's finally found the partner or the lover of their dreams that can be success to them they don't care about money right so it really depends on that point as well so when we look at those days when we feel discouraged remember look around you everyone is going through their own phases through their own journey in terms of where it is that they want to get to we all feel discouraged it's not something that we feel oh wow, it's just me right so normally that means we associate shame with not achieving a certain goal that we wanted to achieve Right, so or feeling that we're not good enough or feeling like a failure, whatever that outcome is for you, however it makes you feel at the end of the day. But for me, when I look at discouragement, for me, it's more like maybe I'm not good enough, right? So for me, it comes back to self-worth. So for you, it might be something different. So it's important for you to look at when you do feel discouraged in your life, where does it put you back to, right? What step does it leave you at? And then, of course, begging the question, what step can you take now to alleviate, first of all, the feeling of discouragement instead of thinking, how do I fix this? Instead of going into problem solving mode, sometimes what we do is we skip the step where we actually dive into a core emotional wound that's coming up. Right. So sometimes we try to do something because we try to lay over or what's the right word that I'm trying to use here. We're trying to kind of like cover up a certain insecurity that we might have or invulnerability that we might have. And of course, if that's the case, what you're trying to achieve is always going to feel much harder because it's actually not the end goal that's hard. It's the emotional wound that you're trying to cover up to get to a certain goal to make you feel that the emotional wound that you have is not there. Right. So at the end of the day, that's also a very important perspective to perhaps look at discouragement and to see how does that sit with you how does that fit into your world into your you know way of doing things and achieving certain projects or achieving success at the end of the day but regardless of where you are at regardless of the core wounds or the core reason or whatever it is everyone who is trying to do something in their life regardless of what it is we all have a starting point, right? So everyone has that, that place of maybe starting from nothing. So remember that. Sometimes it doesn't, you don't need to have everything in order to create what you want. I've seen many successful people out there, very well accomplished. Maybe I should use the word and not take success out of it, but more so accomplished people out there that have done amazing things. And that is because they were open-minded, because they continue to remember where they started from and to actually see the progress that they have made, whether it's mental growth, spiritual growth, emotional growth, maybe growth in your health, maybe growth in your family life. Either way, whatever change you try to create in your life, you are going to be one step ahead of where you were when you started. So even if you do feel discouraged, you have still walked at least two steps forward from where you were. So remember that, guys.